that gig at Penn State. <laughs> I so can't wait, let me ask about you it. though. Let me ask you though. As a little black girl from the Brewster Project, how did you get the courage to come in here today and look so white? I know. <laughs> I I guess I'm just gonna tell the short version of it. Is that okay so that the listeners know? Yeah, yeah. Because so, it happened at the plaza yes. the other night. Yes. Okay. Bizarrely. Yes. yes. I was doing a gig. Oh god. You got a hip replacement, so I, I went did. to perform at Penn State. She took University. my horrible gig. By the way, thank. F- God. Oh, it was such a fun gig. Everybody oh, was so nice. The yes. students were lovely. But any college gig, Sucks. it's at 7 p.m. It's yeah. sober. It, no it's drinking. It's carpeted flooring. Yes. It's awkward, right? You know, it's awkward. Um, and it's me and Jujubee. So me and yeah. Jujubee are kicking it. I haven't seen her since Queen of the Universe yeah. when I eliminated her. So it was like <laughs> nice tension backstage. Um, nice, nice simmering. Yeah, yeah, pot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and she was probably there because she thought she'd be booked with you, her old friend. And said, <laughs> I show up, the last person to disrespect her on television. Different vibe. And I show up and I'm like, all right, I'm going to open the show and I actually bring on Jujubee. Uh So so I'm going to go out and open it. And they go, hey, do you want a song to walk out to? And I said, well, what does the stage look like? And they said, it's a long runway. I said, oh, perfect. I'll walk out and do like a slutty little walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll cheer. And I said, just put on Supermodel by RuPaul. Everyone loves that song. The audience will love it. The audience is like 19 years old. They're going to love it. Yeah. And I thought I'm going to turn the corner and be like, you better work. I thought, come girl. Yeah. I no. forgot how that song starts. There's a lengthy intro. There's a lengthy intro that I wouldn't say Des- co- goes with the narrative I was trying to present. No. Or, or describes the person or persona that you've created in any way, in shape, any or way, form. In any way. In uh, fact. So I thought, so what I wanted was to promote this RuPaul song. Mm-hmm. To be fierce, drag, be fierce, fierce diva. and if you play a RuPaul song, the audience feels like, "Oh, I know RuPaul. We, yes. we all know this. We're in that start, universe now." Yeah, yeah, start the show on a good note. Yeah. I forget how it really starts, which is it's a college show, so they're sober. So when the lights go down, they get silent. They're listening. <gasps> oh, they're, they're ready. The track starts. The straight guy with his MacBook goes, hits it, and I'm standing backstage, and I'm with the microphone like this, and the music. I forget how the song really starts, which is. Should I just play it? Absolutely. I'm just going to play you it. You have to. I'm just going to play it. Once upon a time, there was a little black girl from the Brewster Projects. Okay, this, I, is, this is how it really started. So imagine a bunch of yeah. 18-year-old I'll, I'll sober that, that. college kids. Give it up for your host this evening, Trixie Mattel. Once upon a time, there was a little black girl in the Brewster Projects of Detroit, Michigan. At 15... She was spotted by an Ebony Fashion Fair talent scout, and her modeling career took off. You better work. So then, (laughs) so then I'm backstage and I'm going, oh my God. And I love this song. So I can't believe I forgot how it really starts. And Jujubee's looking at me and she mouths the words, little black. And I'm just like mortified. I'm like, this is so stupid. Like, it's a great song, but oh my God, I forgot the beginning. So then I just walk out and hopefully they barely listened and they were, oh my God. Hopefully they pregame so hard as college yeah, kids that right, they were blackout. Right. Cause I walked out and was just like, <laughs> It reminds me of the Arsenio Hall, like way back in the day when he, like when he came out for his monologue one day, he was like, I like, hello everybody, please don't adjust your te- television screens. I'm black. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Love that. I sh- now yeah, I didn't I didn't say that. Yeah, maybe maybe you should have been like, no 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 no. Your eyes are not deceiving you, Penn State. Uh, <laughs> but I'm I like, you black. know what? Let's pick this black queer artist who's Fuck. the mother of all drag. Let's put that. To- let's start the show on the right note, and then that play. A and little I was like, black. It sounds like Maya Angelou or Aretha Franklin or something. I think it's Martha Wash. Of course it is. There you go. Crazy. That is so crazy. Little black girl from the Brewster Projects in Detroit, Michigan. I just, that's, not, that's not how I would describe myself <laughs> personally. I would, I, I would know. go, once upon a time, there was a little white girl from a trailer. Yeah, a little Ojibwe. Who he, was she not from a tra- yeah. scouted by a model <laughs> scout and never will be. Yeah. That's how I would describe myself. So anyway, that was humiliating. A and boy I just, scout from an Ojibwe trailer. <laughs> yes. And I came to see you at Plaza three nights ago. Uh, and Supermodel played. And the but, memory that I had buried yes. reanimated. Because they, dry, they tried to do the same thing. They tried to play Supermodel. So they tried to do a, um, like a, a runway walk. They queued up a runway track. And then the, the intro played. And I do not believe... That that was intended at all. Yeah. I could be wrong about that, but I was. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I don't think that was relevant in any way, shape, or form to the characters in that particular show as well. I, I'm it's, not gonna lie to you. Yeah. That was my favorite cabaret they've done. Mm-hmm. 